my crafting friends, and welcome back to Sweet Bay Lane. Or if you're new, welcome. I'm Tracy, and I'm so glad you took the time to stop in and craft with us, because the DIY project in this video was so much fun to make, made mostly of Dollar Tree supplies, and is a truly high-end, versatile piece of home decor. So let's go ahead and get started. To begin our project, we're going to need four of these 1x2s that measure 12 inches long from the Dollar Tree and some black paint. I'm going to be using this black by Anitas and it can be found at Hobby Lobby. Once we have our pieces painted, we're then going to come in with some sandpaper and distress our boards. Now that we have them distressed, we're going to put them together in a square pattern. And to do that, we'll just need some wood glue. We're just going to glue the corners, as I'm showing you here. You'll just line it up, make a square with your boards, and then just add some wood glue on the corners. And once you have your corners glued, then you want to just add a little bit of weight to your boards. I'm going to be using these hand weights, but you could use canned goods or maybe a bottle of water. That would be perfect. And once our project dries, we'll then have this square piece of wood. Now I'm going to be using mine outdoors, so I'm going to be sealing mine with this clear sealer from ColorShot. And once we have our clear coat on, we set that aside to dry. Then we're going to be working with these fun puck lights from Walmart. These are battery operated remote control and they're so much fun and they're very easy. I love that the batteries come with them. You just start by twisting the back off of your puck light, adding the batteries and then just twisting it right back on. Now that we have all of our batteries in our puck lights, we then want to spray paint the outer white part of our puck light. But to do that, we need to cover the light part with some painter's tape. And once we have the lights covered, we then take them outside and give them a couple coats of the spray paint. I'm going to be using this Color Shot Blackout. Now once we have our puck lights painted, we leave those outside to dry and we move back to our square piece of wood that we clear coated. And look at that shine. I think it is so beautiful. Now we're going to be introducing a couple more supplies to this DIY project. And that's going to be four of these metal pencil holders from the Dollar Tree along with four of these corner braces that measure one and a half inches. And these can be found at Walmart or Home Depot. Now, don't worry if you can't find the corner braces because this is totally optional. It's not really a structural thing. But I'm going to be adding them to the corners of my square just to add a little more rustic detail. I think that adds a great detail to the project. And if you can't find the brackets, you could always use the metal ribbon from the Dollar Tree, paint it black, and then fold the edges over kind of like a hem, and then just tap some painted thumbtacks in as the nail heads. I think that would be beautiful as well. And now that we have that done, we then flip our project over to its backside and we bring back in our metal pencil holders. And for this step, we're just going to be attaching the metal pencil holders to the outside edges of our wood square. And to do that, I'm going to be using some construction adhesive by Gorilla Glue. And as I'm showing you here, you want to just line your 
pencil holder up to the bottom corner or the outer corner of your project and just make sure it's centered on each board. Now that we have our pencil holders attached, we then move back to our puck lights. And for this step, you're going to need eight of these ceramic magnets. They call them magnet buttons, I believe. And we're going to divide them up into stacks of two. We're then going to take the stack of two magnets and attach it to the back side of our puck lights using some Gorilla Glue construction adhesive. And once we have that done, we then bring back in our wood piece with our pencil holders attached. And we're going to attach the puck lights to the inside of our pencil holders. And to do that, we'll just take our same Gorilla Glue construction adhesive, put a little dollop or a little dab on the back of our magnet, and then attach it to the inside of our pencil holder, as I'm showing you here. Okay, that looks perfect. Now we're moving on and we're gonna take four of these eye screws and spray paint them black. Once we have that done, we then move back to our project. We flip it over and we're just going to screw the four eye screws into the corners of our project. I just found the center of my board and measured one half inch in from the edge. They twist in quite easily since the wood is very soft, but if you have any problems, you can just take a screwdriver and stick that in the hole and then use that as leverage to tighten your screw. And once we have all four of our eye screws in, we then move on to our next step. And for this step, you're going to need two of these plant hangers from the Dollar Tree. Now this step looks sort of complicated, but it's not. The plant hangers themselves come with three chains and we need four. So we just need to detach one of the chains from the extra plant hanger and attach it to our three strand plant hanger, making it a four strand plant hanger. And this is actually very easy. It looks sort of complicated, but the wire is quite soft, so you can bend it with a, just a set of pliers. Um, you just bend out the little wire. As you'll see when you look at the plant hanger, you can totally see this. And then you just attach it to the top of your three-strand plant hanger. And then once you have it through, you'll then take your other strand and just hook it back on the link and then just bend down your prongs of your attaching link. And just like that, you have a four strand plant hanger. I also love that they have these little clips at the end, which makes it perfect. Now we bring back in our project and we just attach all four hooks to our eye screws. I also wanted to show you how to change the batteries because I often get questions about this. What you do is you'll just push on the corner of your puck light and then it pops up from the magnet attached to the base of your pencil holder. Then you just take out your puck light, change the battery, and then just pop it right back in.
Now I think this project looks beautiful on its own, but when I started it, I had in mind I wanted to be able to add a greenery wreath to the top of my chandelier. That way I can use it for every day, or I can add different picks for the seasons. As I'm showing you here, I'm using fall picks from the Dollar Tree along with their velvet pumpkins. And I think it looks gorgeous. I hope it inspires you guys to make one of your own because it was so much fun to make. Well, until next week, keep it crafty.